FXB, welcome back to the shack. Let's talk FTX1, the latest release from Yesu. Shack in the box. This is the field unit, 10 watts, uh, with a with a DC input. Has a nice big 6,000 milliamp hour battery in the back that you can remove. And then you can add what they call the Optima unit, and that you're going to get 100 watts and 50 watts on VHF, UHF, thereabouts. And then let's talk about a radio like the Yesu 817 and 857, even 897. So, you know, I hear it all the time and I get it. You know, many, many people are saying, we just wanted a better version of this at a reasonable price. Because these, you know, even when they tried to sell, or well, they did sell the 818, um, when they said it announced it was discontinued, I think it was about £650. People felt like that was, yeah, that was worth buying. And, and I completely agree. And for many, many years, you could pick these up for oh, between three and £500, couldn't you? And why do we like them? Because they feel portable. You can put them in the leather case, shack in the box. Yes, they are only 10 watts, but you can add a amplifier. And, and, um, and they just work great for QRP, CW. They just, they just do the job. They do what they're meant to do. So many people are completely flabbergasted that this is meant to be the replacement for the 817. Now, did Yesu say this is this is the replacement for the 817, 818? I'm not really sure. They sort of did and didn't. They sort of discontinued it. Um, so whether it was like an official thing, this is the replacement. For me, this is not a replacement for the 817. This is the <clears throat> basically to compete with the 705. So what are the strengths of this? Why is this, it, you know, and I do think it's worth around the price that they're asking. I would say, personally, I think around $1,800 is about right for this with the Optima. Now, the Optima is a bargain. For $500 and the Optima, which clips onto the back of this set, gives you an amplifier and a tuner. But the unusual thing is it gives you the amplifier on 2 meters and 70 cents. And you try and find an amplifier that will do you know hf six meters two meters and 70 and has a built-in tuner in that form factor because it's actually quite compact uh, smaller than the back end of the 991 obviously a lot bigger than the 817 so you know i get it you know i get what people are saying but you do need to remember that this set you know if we go from the 705 point of view yeah this ftx one is two radios in one it will simultaneously receive two meters 70 it will do it in c4 fm it will do aprs of course there's bugs it's only just been released the people most of the people and i'm seeing this that are slating this radio either don't do not own it have no intention of and i don't blame them it's a lot of money of spending uh two thousand dollars so then they're going to say it's it's rubbish it's not been finished it's got bugs and i hear it all the time when people actually don't want to buy a radio but the people that have actually got one of these that i've used it um that i've gone into all the thousands of functions that this ftx one does are going to go wow what an amazing radio and i and i think that it is amazing and so when it comes to the cost it's really hard to compare cost if you think about it you know, the 705, which people really don't complain about the 705, has been out for, you know, about five years is it, or more. And generally, they don't complain. They, they say, yeah, what an amazing set. And uh, and I agree with them. Yeah, it's it's the 705 is amazing. That's a single received D-Star D -star radio. It does not have APRS, although it has DPRS. But even if, let's just say, uh, many are saying we want to see the 857 and the 817 rehashed, but uh, you know, a, a 2025 version of it, the price is still going to be 1,500 pounds. It's not gonna come in at, at seven, 800 pounds. The Yesu 897, eight, eight, sorry, 897, 857, when they came out, they were a thousand pounds, thereabouts, yeah? Maybe eight, 900 pounds. That was, was it now, 2025? That was like 20 years ago. They're not going to come in less than one thousand five hundred pounds, which is what the opt, which which is what the FTX is. There goes my other radio. So even if they rehash it, get too many radios on here. Even if they uh, rehash the 
817-857-897, ICOM 706, even if they rehash them, the price is still going to be up there, £1,500. Then when you start to buying, because remember the 817, the 897, the 706, all those very popular Shack in the Box radios, none, none of them had antenna tuners. You're going to have to buy an antenna tuner. And... Um, and if you want, if you go for the QRP 817 and you try and buy an amplifier for 70 centimeters and two meters, go and look at the price. So I think as soon as it went around above $2,000, yeah, 2,000 pounds, 2069 in Europe. And there are some deals out there at the moment. Some of the prices are already coming down just below 2,000 pounds, you know, and the euros are coming down. So check it all out before you commit um but you are still if you want a radio that does everything you're going to still have to part with the money now if you go for an older model and this is where there are some the the, the good value deals are standing out the yesu 710 hf six meter radio built-in tuner that's uh, that's under a thousand dollars that is a bargain take it from me that is the best deal you'll get you can still get a ICOM 7300 for 1100 pounds dollars if you shop around you'll get one um <coughs> absolute bargain shack in the box yesu ft991 with c4fm <coughs> bargain 1200 pounds you'll get one but this you know this is 2025 and radios cost what they cost and even if you buy a second hand ICOM 7000 sorry 70 uh yeah 706 four five hundred pounds and that's a very old device uh, i wouldn't even recommend spending that kind of money so anyway let me know what you think because i know that you know everyone's fixated on oh my god two thousand dollars and of course it's a lot of money i'm not saying it's not a lot of money <clears throat> but you have to look at the specifications of the radio the research and development of making a radio like the FTX one. You imagine the firmware, just the firmware to write the firmware for this radio alone is ge is genius. You th you imagine what it takes to run this radio, you know, firmware wise. Then you've got to cram it all into this box, and then and then <clears throat> design it in a way where you can add on the back end Optima. You know, it's like um, I think people would have actually paid more for it, although. You know, we're never going to get away from the fact that this is when you go down this road, you're talking, you know, a, a quite a hunk of money. But then when people go out and buy the ICOM 7610 and the, say, the Yesu FT 101, that's three, four thousand dollars. They buy that because it's big. Go, oh, that's big. That's worth four thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. But with the FTX, which actually does a lot more. Yeah. And everything's a compromise, of course. Uh, then they're like, oh, it's, it's too much money because it's so small. So uh, let me know. This is just my thoughts. Um, but please, before, you know, this is in my opinion, before you slate a product and try and think of everything bad about it, actually look at what it does. Yeah, you actually, you know, have to look at what this radio does. And the build costs, the development costs. And... There you are. You can see it's going dual receive, single receive. And remember, and I'll say it just one last time. If they do bring back the 857, 897 range of radios, like they did with the FTM 150, it's going to cost. It's not going to be a low price because they know everyone would like one. And yeah, and then ICOM. You know, I always thought that the ICOM 7300 should have been a shack in the box radio should have had two meters and 70 would have been the best selling radio of all time but instead they brought out the 9700 chucked in 23 sems and went right now pay two thousand pounds for that anyway thanks for watching these are just my opinions. 73 take care enjoy your hobby bye for now